All right, Enzo, uh, just got the December quarter figures. Uh, how did the year 2011 wash up? Look, 2011 was a, was a slow year in real estate in terms of activity. Numbers were down. Uh, the median went down for the year by 5.2%. It did go up by 1.9% to $550,000 in the last quarter. Uh, that's understandable. The, the, uh, the last quarter of the year is the spring selling season, a lot more activity, weather's nice, uh, a lot more houses on the market. So $550,000, do people understand what the median means for, for their price, whether or not it goes up or down? Look, I think people are, uh, some people are confused about the median. It's not what your house is worth. Um, it's actually the midpoint of all the properties sold in that particular uh, period, like um, the, the three months, the last quarter of last year, the midpoint was 550,000. So 50% of properties were above that, 50% of properties were, were below that. What it does give you over time, and, and say 2011, we had a reduction in the median of 5.2%, of which means generally property prices did trend downwards. In the last quarter, they went up by 1.9% again due to activity. So already there's a lot been happening so far this year. The banks have broken away from the Federal Reserve and raised uh, interest rates. Everyone's talking the market's still fairly, uh, fairly down. What's your view of things so far? Look I think the market's going to pick up this year um, depending on what's happening in the general economy of course but we've seen some some positive signs so far and you know, quite early in the year we've seen a uh, clearance rate of 64% which is quite good. Uh, it's, it's almost 10% um, above what it was last year, 8% above what it was last year. Um, we've got uh, an increased number of auctions progressively over the next four weeks. Um, the agents I've been speaking to in terms of get, getting some indication of what's going on seem to be fairly positive about the inquiry rates, the properties coming on the market. So I think it's going to be marginally better so far uh, this year uh, to last year. I think if we can keep interest rates uh, where they are, if the uh, inflation stays within the Reserve Bank's target uh, band of 2 to 3 per cent, if the economy is growing at trend, um, I think the second half of the year is going to be better. Should people be optimistic this year whether or not they're buying or selling real estate? Because according to the papers, there's a lot of reasons to be pessimistic. Look, there, globally there's some, some uh, different stories about what's happening in Europe and America. Uh, our future is linked with China. Asia and India in terms of uh, our resources. We're certainly going to see a two-speed economy in Australia this year. We're going to see the uh, Western Australia and Queensland probably grow a lot stronger than the other states. But look, it's positive in terms of people wanting to, to get into the property market. It's probably more affordable now than it has been for the last few years. And uh, I think uh, if you time it well, uh, the next couple of years you'll see some price uh, growth in, in property. We haven't seen the massive bubble burst that was predicted. There is, uh, there is no uh, bubble in Australian real estate at the moment. A bubble is characterised by um, huge price increases. Um, it's an investor-led uh, boom where people are just investing, investing in real estate, unsustainable. Uh, we have hu um, high CPI or inflation. Um, we don't have any of that in Australia. We've got low inflation. We certainly haven't got uh, house prices going up. They've actually come backwards and we don't have this... Uh, uh, exuberance or activity by investors all, all over the, the country buying real estate. We don't have a bubble. Um, those people who say that property prices are going to come down 30, 40, 50, 60 per cent, and they've been saying it for many, many years, um, I haven't seen it and I can't see it happening this year. Where do you think we'll be at the end of the year 2012? I think we'll see uh, uh, in, uh, in Melbourne and Victoria in particular, I think we'll see single digit price growth in, in parts of uh, metropolitan Melbourne and regional areas of Victoria. My, my, some areas may grow uh, more than that. Which suburbs have had a good news story? Look, there are a number right across, you know, from the, the lowest price suburbs to the most expensive. You've got uh, in the sub-median category, you've got Narry Warren South, um, Upway, Hoppers Crossing. They all showed some price growth. Top end of the market, um, Albert Park, obviously tightly held, also increased uh, last year. So, yeah, look, whilst a lot of suburbs we're at the same rate or below, those suburbs increased in value. For people who have an interest in what's happening and where, where their suburbs going, where, what can they do? Look, we've got uh, the Real Estate Institute of Victoria website, reiv.com.au, which gives lots of information about uh, what's happening in the marketplace. If you go to realestateview.com.au to look at what's on the market, what's for sale, what's for rent, lots of information about median prices, they can trend 
each suburb in Melbourne. So if you put in the suburb you live in, you'll see a trend chart of what, what it's done in the last five years. A lot of information available on both those websites.